The project that we just completed was the Climate Change Conference, and every eighth grader was assigned a country, business, or NGO, and they took on that entity um, to learn about the country, the problems and challenges the country faces, and to put that in the perspective of climate change. We just did the Kyoto Protocol, which was basically a simulation of the actual Kyoto Protocol, where different countries and companies and organizations work together to try to figure out the best policies and ideas for how to reduce global emissions. Uh, each one of us represented a, an entity, either a company or a non-governmental organization or a country. Um, and we talked about various laws, different people were assigned to talk about their views for or against various laws. And we gave our speech and there were rebuttals um, and then we, we would vote on our laws for and against. I learned how hard it is to really make the right decision. Every country, they have different issues concerning, concerning climate change and it's really hard to vote for how we should proceed. You know, some bills, it's like, oh, this would be great for helping stop GHG's emissions, but oh wait, this could put thousands of people out of work. So I learned how difficult it is to really make the right decision and be in the best interest in your country. I also learned, you know, uh, like public speaking in front of everyone. So it's not just, you know, uh, UN stuff or uh, Kyoto Protocol stuff, but it's also like, you know, social skills and, and, you know, working alongside other countries or other, you know, people in the grade and uh, to really, uh, you know, represent your country as best you can and to, you know, do your job. If you are in favor of voluntary emission cap compliance, please raise your hand and hold it up. This program culminates the middle school science curriculum. And so the thread of energy, um, climate and weather, all physical, um, biological sciences are incorporated into trying to solve this problem that the world is facing. And the students had the opportunity to look at a complex problem, um, apply science to a real world situation, and they had that public speaking opportunity today of representing whatever country or business they came to speak for. I think awareness and education are terribly important. If we look actually at the most recent figures for the US, awareness about climate change and the role of people in causing climate change is actually falling over time. Uh, so there's a lot to be done, I think, including in schools. And I think that the way that Murray has tackled this um, through ensuring that uh, there's detailed investigation of the science, of the evidence, uh, trying to understand the concerns of different groups, uh, different perspectives uh, from developing countries, uh, from richer countries, um, corporations' point of view, NGOs' uh, perspectives. I think all of those, I think, are terribly important for, um, for our future generation of leaders to, uh, to, to be able to engage in these important issues, which are very much long-term issues, which will be around um, kind of long after our kids graduate.